Mona, you're in the video. You're in the video. All right. Hey guys, it's Joey. And as you can see, the tank is in the house. Buns is really happy about it. She loves it. It's her new tank. So I got everything installed right now and I'm ready to get it wet. I'm gonna put about 40, 45 gallons in there and then I'm gonna put a pump in there and then uh, put some palm matrix and then I'll start the cycle with uh, just that little bit in there. And then I'll fill up some more water throughout this weekend. And we're gonna find out if this stand holds up. Got just the LED bars on right now. And let's fill it up and then I'll give you a walkthrough of what I've done so far. Here we go.
Okay, I rinsed the on matrix off and put in the, this is a little MaxiJet 1200 and these are really convenient because they convert into a little power head, so that's awesome. So it's pretty good flow and if you've been looking at the reef to reef, um, the experiments on beneficial bacteria, they say that they go where there's, there's a lot of flow because um, there's most likely going to be a lot of ammonia in those areas. So I put it all right in front of the power head and then uh, yeah we're gonna go ahead and start with the Fritzyme 9 and the streets up to 80 gallons. I have 40 in there. I'm just gonna dump the whole bottle in there and I'm gonna add an air stone as well and then I'll do some ammonia. Okay, the ammonia has, not sorry, not the ammonia, the bacteria has been added. And just a heads up, that stuff smells disgusting. It smells like sewer. So I'm pretty sure that's just some, some garbage they scoop up and make you throw it in your tank. You can see everything's a lot more cloudy now. There's all that bacteria in there. This is making vortexes and crap. So all these loose ones are all going in there. Shouldn't be a big deal. Um, I've been knocking them away and then some of these will settle to the bottom. So here we have some Dr. Tim's ammonia. It says here add four drops per gallon and that should get you to a certain amount. So I think that gets you to two parts per million. Something like that. I'm gonna do about half of that. I'm gonna be do two drops uh, per per gallon. So 40 gallons, so I'll do about 80 drops in here. has been added and these guys just continue to pile up on this I uh, did 80 drops I think I'll have some advantages uh, cycling the tank this way where I've intentionally you know added a smaller amount of water and I have just uh, some more bacteria to do as well so I'll be dosing you know tons of different strands of bacteria in here and there's also different kinds so you have you know, following that, that reef to reef thread, there's different kinds of bacteria. Uh, some of the bacteria, uh, they consume uh, just the ammonia as their, their source of uh, food. Uh, and then there's other bacteria, and I forgot the technical term, someone could leave it in the comments. The other term, uh, they consume carbon sources such as um, vinegar or uh, vodka, something like that. And I think that the, so the fritz that you chill and then one other one were determined to feed on just the ammonia. And those are said to uh, go a lot slower. Uh, they reproduce a lot slower. Where the ones that feast on the carbon sources, they produce a lot uh, quicker. So that's how you can get uh, a bit of a faster cycle, but the strains of bacteria aren't going to be as strong and as reliable as the ones that uh, just go off pure ammonia. So, you know, it's a, it's a trade-off and that's why you want all different kinds of bacteria in here. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I got tons of different bacterias to go. That was a little bit about the cycling and obviously we filled the tank up today, 40 gallons. So we'll be uh, monitoring it closely for any leaks. Uh, monitoring the stand to make sure everything's good. Everything seems, you know, pretty sturdy, but it's only, you know, 40 gallons, so it's, you know, <laughs> just a fraction of, of what it's going to end up holding. You know, stand already has around a thousand pounds on it, so uh, it has about, you know, 15, 1,500 more to go or something like that. Um, I installed the 8020, and that took me about six hours with a trip to 
Home Depot and I ate dinner as well. Uh, and I'm glad I didn't have the tank there because I dropped some of the pieces that go over the, up there in the corner and it would have broke the tank. So the corner here, how this is secured, these are 45 degree uh, brace here, which is very much needed. And then there's, uh, what is that, a 12 hole um, little angle bracket there as well. Uh, this hatch, this has actually zero deflection is what I'm getting right now based off the little bubble leveler. I mounted the hanging fixture actually by using some of the 8020 nuts and I, I got lucky, I tried to drill through, but it was gonna take me uh, way too long and it wasn't gonna really work. So I kinda uh, rigged something up and it's really secure. So I'll show that in a, in a future video, how exactly I did that. Let's wrap this up. I'm all over the place tonight. Been doing so many things, I got home. Tank was already here, sitting. The guys were waiting for me uh, when I came. And that's just another shout out to Ocean Life Aquariums for uh, delivering this tank and taking care of everything. Uh, I know there were some, some hiccups and then um, I had us put on this uh, little uh, exercise board underneath. I know it was a huge pain in the ass, so I appreciate all the efforts. So I had that delivered and then I immediately got to work uh, with the lights, got the lights up there and then got to work in, as far as uh, filling the tank up. So as we sit right now, you know, of course we have the, the 40 gallons in there. I have my little uh, setup here of, of what I have remaining as far as uh, some different bacterias. I also have the, the fritz um, that you put in the fridge as well, but I'm just leaving that out until uh, I'm ready to use it. I'll maybe use that, that one uh, a little bit or a little bit more towards the end. So for tonight, uh, and this is where we're at. So we're just gonna let the tank cycle and do its thing. Tomorrow, uh, when I get back, I'm going to check and see where we are at and in the actual cycle. I'll check the ammonia and see uh, what we're getting. I'm thinking about adding another 40 gallons tomorrow and then leave it there. Uh, just because when I actually put in the rock work, I don't want to, to be up to you know my shoulders in, in water uh, trying to reach in there. So I think that I'll just you know fill it. That's that's almost halfway, you know, 80 gallons, and then that'll be plenty. Uh, what I'm doing as well on this system is I'm tracking all the water I'm actually putting in there. So by doing this in 40 gallon increments, you know, currently, I can keep track of exactly how much water volume this has and that's something that a lot of people don't do when they fill up their tanks they fill it up immediately all the way up to the top and then they throw in their rock work and you know they're just they have no idea you know how much it's actually holding so your tanks you know 230 gallons 120 gallons but it's not holding that you know actually uh, those those volumes so it's important for all your dosing uh, to make sure that you know exactly how much is in your tank and I think that's why a lot of people struggle when they read the uh, the instructions of different products and why there's a general rule in this hobby of saying oh you know if you get it something you should always dose half the recommended amount and I think that's just a matter of people not actually knowing what their water volume is so by doing that you kind of hedge your bets a little bit uh, and go a little bit under, you know, I'd say uh, three quarters the amount is, is also good and, and probably what you're gonna end up using. It just depends on your system. You know, with your sump, you might actually get to the real volume of your tank, but we're gonna find out what I'm actually at once we talk about the displacement of the sand and the rock. So pretty excited for that moving forward. Uh, those are our next steps. Fill it up a little bit. <coughs> Uh, the rock will be done, you know, later this week, I think. Uh, once the rock is in, then I'll add the sand. And this weekend, I will have my plumbing. So I'll be able to put in some plumbing as well. So some more videos coming out on that. And I'll do some more updates. There's a lot of different updates coming. So I got to kind of get my thoughts organized and show you guys 
what you want to see exactly uh, and make sure I'm not kind of all over the place that's that's kind of how I am I just I just do things and I, I don't even think to to film them or, or what you guys might want to see you know I'm not very um, creative when it comes to to making these videos I don't you know set up cameras and do really cool shots you know I, I mess with it every now and then but that's not something I'm super into I just like to come on here and kind of share what I'm doing and talk to, with you guys about my story and uh, just experiences and show you guys my tank so hopefully this turns into something amazing and I think that's uh, enough for rambling so I hope you guys enjoyed this video stay tuned Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I think we're going to make a uh, contest coming up. 250 subscribers. I'll try to shoot that video uh, this weekend with those rules and the prizes. Prizes are going to be pretty decent. I'm going to kind of make it a uh, incremental thing. A 250 sub uh, contest. 500, 750, and then 1,000. Then we'll see, you know, if we even make it to a thousand and how long that takes. And a uh, thousand, uh, you know, will be a pretty good prize. So you'll want to stick around and definitely subscribe to that so you can have a chance at winning something. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. But all right, guys, I will catch you in the next one.